I want to bring your attention to this white arrow. Um, this white arrow right here. It's pointing to the fitting for the oil pressure gauge. This passage goes down to the cup, which would be the bottom of the cup down inside the hole. I'm still trying to work this out why the cup uh, is at one place in this, uh, you know, 2005 target block and in the 1974 block, the 410 block, it's in a different place. I'm still trying to sort that out. But what I'm doing here is, is if everything is correct dimensionally, then a piece of baling wire inserted into the from filter oil passage should be able to be seen or seen deflecting the available light. Let's take a look. Here's a longer look at it without any movement in the hole. Still the same shot. The white arrow pointing to the oil passage. And I'm giving you a longer look at it. So when you, if you have to go back to look at the one with the movement in it, it'll make more sense. Okay, let's let's put this into perspective. This diagram illustrates the oil filter oil flow incorporated into a small block Chevy typical oiling system. <clears throat> These two green arrows here, right here and right here, those represent the silver dots that were on an earlier video. Just click on the link below to watch that. But what we have here is oil coming from the pump right here into this passage where the cup is and it hits the cup here and the only place to go is out this passage here to the filter oil flow from the From here it's cleaned by the filter and then the only place it can go is to this passage back to the main passage now you might be wondering well where is this passage here from the filter well there's a hole in the bottom of the oil boss underneath the adapter where the oil filter screws on it's that hole you follow that hole and you'll come out back to this passage where you saw the wire moving in the video that is right here now the view is from here this is the the oil the uh, fitting for the oil filter line to go to the gauge and you saw we took that out and we shone light down there now if this cup right here was not in the proper spot then you wouldn't be able to see the reflecting light or the wire going back and forth like you do in the video. So that means that it has to be above this line right here where the passage is. It has to be above that or else the wire would hit it. If no cup was right here, that would take out the routing to the filter. And you would get oil from the pump into the motor that was contaminated, which would wipe out your main bearings and your rod bearings. So without that cup, you're not filtering your oil. And that can't be good. Now... From line, I've, I've num, or, put numerals on these orange lines. The first one's A, the second one's B, the second, the third one is C. 
And from line A to line C, the specification is no more than 1.375 from A to C. This block, which is the target test block, measured 1.357. That means the bottom of the cup is 18 thou below line C and not blocking oil coming from the filter passage here, which is exactly the whole point. You don't want to block that passage. Now, that's within specification, which is good news. Now, on the other block, the 410 block, the cup is 50 thou below the two filter oil passage here. That cup is about right there. Why it's like that has to be investigated. So I hope this clears up the function of the cup as well as if it wasn't there it would be hor it would be terrible for the bearings the bearings would wipe out and the engine would not live it's cup's got to be in there it's got to be in the right place or else the oil coming into the motor is not filtered and that would not be good This is where GM marks their blocks so people can go back and figure out what year and all. And it's on this pad right here, which is ahead of, which would be ahead of the passenger side cylinder head. There's all these numbers right here. And on that pad is where they mark it. Now, you can see from this pad that this block, given the fact that you can read these numbers, the, this plane where the cylinder head sits on has never been to the machine shop and it's never been decked. Um, you want to do that to make sure that it's, you know, the plane is the plane where all the uh, cylinder bore holes are bored into. You want to make sure that plane is 90 degrees to the crank and everything's copacetic for the head to be able to sit on it. But here's the pad. If you see a block like this, you can read the numbers that well. You know that block's never been to the machine shop. And barring any obvious defects, it's probably a good block to start with.